click the bell icon to turn on notifications. Hello everyone and welcome back to the course. We've made it down to section eight and in this section we're going to explore how we can use different drawing tools on our OneNote pages. Now OneNote lets you draw, sketch or write notes with your finger, a pen or even a mouse. And you can even do things like freehand draw shapes or write equations and convert those to typed text. So the next few lessons that we're going to go through are particularly useful if you're somebody who uses a touchscreen device with a stylus. That's by far the most accurate way of handwriting notes. But just be aware, even if you don't have a touch device or a stylus, then you could, if you wanted to, still utilize these drawing tools using your mouse. Although I will say it's a little bit more difficult to get writing shapes, things like that, accurate when you're drawing with a mouse as opposed to with a pen. Now, I will also say here that if you don't have a touchscreen device with a stylus and you don't particularly think that you'll ever be trying to handwrite text using your mouse, then please feel free to skip to the next section. However, I would still encourage you to watch these reasonably short modules just so you have an idea as to the tools that you have on that draw tab if you ever need to use them. Now, because this lesson is particularly geared to touchscreen users, I'm going to switch from mouse and keyboard mode into touchscreen mode. And this is something again that I mentioned right at the beginning of this course, so you may have completely forgotten by now. But if you take a look at my quick access toolbar, you'll see that I have a little option just here. And when I hover over, it says touch mouse mode. So this is essentially a toggle, which allows me to switch between my mouse and also touch. And what this does is it basically optimizes your screen, your interface for use with touch. It kind of gives you a bit more space to accommodate something like a finger, which you might be using on a touch device. So let's switch to touch. And you can see there exactly what it's done. If you take a look at my ribbon, I now have a lot more space in between my commands as it's now accounting for what we like to call fat finger syndrome. Now I am using a laptop that has a touch screen and a stylus. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my finger to jump across to the draw tab. And this is where you'll find all of your drawing utilities. So it's great for doing things like making different types of annotation on a page, maybe circling items of importance or maybe using the highlighter tool. And of course you can modify the line thickness and also the color. And you can even do things like draw shapes. Now, the first thing that you'll notice when we jump onto the draw tab is that the first command there, the one that says type is selected because I have that gray background. So that's telling me that I'm currently in type mode. So if I was to click somewhere on this page, I can start typing and it's going to use my keyboard. Now I'm just going to delete out what I just typed because I want to switch into a different mode. This time I want to use my stylus to make some annotations on this particular map. And the way that you essentially switch to your pen mode is you just click the drop down arrow just here and it's going to open up all of the built in pens in OneNote. And you'll see at the top I have a section called favorite pens. So if I use a particular pen often, I can add it to my favorites that I'll show you how to do that in a moment. But underneath we have all of the built in pens. We have various different colors, thicknesses, and also highlighters as well. Now, the first option I want to show you is right at the bottom here, this option that says pen mode, because when I click it, I can choose what I want to use pen mode for. So currently I'm using pen mode, which means I can use my stylus essentially, or even my finger to create both handwriting and drawings. So I could handwrite notes and I could also draw shapes. Alternatively, I can create drawings only in pen mode or create handwriting only in pen mode. And then finally, I can use my pen as a pointer. Now I'm going to keep mine on create both handwriting and drawings, and I'm going to select one of these built in pens from the gallery. So I'm going to choose this one just here, the red pen one millimeter. 
And you'll see that that now gets highlighted in my drawing tools gallery. And if you look at my cursor, it's kind of changed to a red dot. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use my stylus and maybe I want to go onto this map and just highlight something in here. So if I want to show people exactly where Liverpool Street Station is on this map, I could use my pen and I could just circle it like so. I could then use my pen to open up that gallery and maybe switch into another color. So let's do uh, green. And this time I might want to highlight somewhere that's good to go for lunch. And that would be the brewery. And that's going to be in green. Let's click to jump into our gallery one more time. Because what I also have in this last column is a bunch of highlight colors. So let's stick with the old favorite, yellow. And this time I can use that to highlight anything on this map as well. Now, next to all of my pens, I have a color and thickness option. So because I currently have a highlighter selected, it's taking me straight to the highlighter. But what I can do in here is basically change the color of the highlighter to anything that's within this gallery. So maybe I want a nice salmon pink kind of a color. Click on OK. And now you can see that that's changed. And this is going to work the same for any of these pens. So if I was to select this red, fairly thick pen, I can go into color and thickness. You can see it now has pen highlighted at the top. And I can go in and choose a completely different color. Let's do this hot pink. Click on OK. And then if I type something like that, as I said, I'm not particularly great, but hopefully you get the idea. So now I've made a whole bunch of annotations on my page. I might want to leave them there. That's totally fine. Or I might want to get rid of them. So as soon as I started moving my mouse around, you can see that my mode switched from pen mode back to type mode. And I have an eraser option in here. And what I can do is choose to use a small, medium or large eraser or even a stroke eraser. And this really depends on how big the annotations are on your page. For me, I quite like the stroke eraser, so I'm going to use that. And I can then use my mouse just to get rid of all of the strokes. And let's just get rid of everything that we added on here. So reasonably straightforward. Now, the next button that we have along here is draw with touch. And you can see it says use pens, eraser, lasso and shape tools with your finger. So maybe you have a touch device, but you don't have a stylus. You can still draw with your finger. So let's say draw with touch. I'm going to select a pen to use. So let's try this. Let's go for this purple color. And this time I'm going to use my finger just to highlight something on this particular map. And once again, I can utilize my eraser utility and just click and remove those annotations. Now we're going to move on to the next lesson where I'm going to show you how you can draw shapes, convert them to text, and also use the lasso tool to select multiple objects. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To get four free courses in Excel, QuickBooks, Microsoft Project and Photoshop, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.